Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be sharing with you how I was able to do a Bantu knot hairstyle for the first time. So I first start with freshly washed hair and then I use this Aunt Jackie's quench detangler all over my hair. I put it all over my hand and I run my hair through with my fingers. Next, I'm using this Aunt Jackie's Coconut Butter Hair Cream. I love Aunt Jackie's hair products. I use it all the time, religiously, every time I start a new hairstyle. And I'm just pretty much just putting it all over my hair. And I use it just to make my hair feel moisturized. Then I'm going to start with this hair mousse. And this is the Jane Carter's hair mousse. It doesn't leave your hair feeling very hard as most hair mousses do. This hair mousse is specifically designed for natural hair. So I do trust this hair mousse. I use it for my wigs and it gave my bantu knots a lot of definition. Not as much as I wanted at the end, but it did give it a decent amount of definition. I will be showing you two different methods to do your bantu knots. First, Make sure that your hair is out the way. I'll be using clips. So I start by twisting my hair. Then I hold on to that twist with my hand. With my opposite hand, I help form a loop. Holding on to that loop, I'm able to wrap my hair around it with my hand that I was twisting my hair with. So as I'm done wrapping my hair, it forms a little knot. And I pretty much just take my hair and I tuck it beneath the knot so twist your hair hold on to that twist with your hand with your opposite hand form a loop hold it onto that loop use your other hand to wrap your hair around it it helps if the hand that you're forming the loop with if you go behind your head and it also helps to do it tightly so make sure whatever you're doing try to do it tightly like pretty much that's the key tight so for the other method I tried, at the end, whenever I was wrapping my hair, I twisted while I was wrapping my hair. So I start twisting my hair. I hold on to that twist with my hand. With the opposite hand, I form a loop and hold it onto the loop. I go ahead and I use my other hand to twist around that loop to form the bantu knot. For this one, basically your bantu knot will be stacked more and it won't be as wide. It will just be bigger in length. I like this one better because it was very defined whenever I took them out and I should have stuck with this one, but you do whatever you want. This bantu knot hairstyle, there were several times wherever I had to redo the bantu knot because they fell apart but I think it's pretty normal and also it was kind of hard because I couldn't figure out which method I should have used but I figured it out at the end for the back there's no way I'm doing the first method like it would have been hard if I just used my other hand to just wrap it around you try it's hard so I just went ahead and I did the second method so yeah basically I twisted my hair I held on to that twist with my hand, and with the opposite hand, I formed a loop and hold it onto that loop. I wrapped my hair around it, twisting. Hi, so it's the next afternoon. Like, I went to sleep with these, so I'm going to take them out right now. Um, whenever I went to sleep, it wasn't that hard. I thought it would be, like, kind of pointy. Whenever I went ahead, I tossed and turned, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> I didn't feel anything. Um, but I'm just going to take them out and just pretty much and tell you what happened. It doesn't look as defined as I thought it would look at all. 
just as a comparison, just to see which one is the most defined, these two bantu knots, I did it differently. This one, I twisted it, and while I was twisting it, I wrapped it around my head. But this one, while I was wrapping, I wasn't twisted, so it was just wrapped. So I'm just going to show you which one looks more defined. I think this one will look more defined. So I'm just going to take this one out. Yeah, and I'm just going to take this one out. The shrinkage, I thought it would help with shrinkage a little bit, but honestly, it doesn't seem like it really helped with my shrinkage. I thought it would stretch it a little bit more, but surprisingly, no. This one came out way more defined. If you see, it came out way more defined. But this one is like, I don't know. You can see my coarseness in my hair more for this one. So I'm just going to take the rest out. have school so stick around if you want subscribe if you want thank you and have a nice day goodbye